A sports reporter known for his colorful suits and great personality was remembered today. Friends and family gathered in Georgia for, for a memorial service for Craig Sager. He passed away last week after battling cancer. Sager spent part of his fight here in Houston at MD Anderson. Channel 2's Haley Hernandez joins us now from the Texas Medical Center with how Sager is being remembered there. Haley. Hey guys, it was a beautiful service that we were actually live streaming on our website. So I was watching his children talk about him and I got to say they gave a better description than I could. They called him a charming goofball. I did meet him twice for interviews for our uh, broadcast and I can tell you I can't give him a better description. Even those suits that you referenced when I asked Sager about them, he was really confused about why people questioned his style. He told me that it was a chosen style. It's truly he felt, he said, Sager would not tolerate the stuffiness, professional interviews. He didn't like that kind of thing. He broke through the ice trying to make a personal connection with nurses, with hospital staff, and with me. Before I knew it, we would just be talking. I want you to listen to what he told me in August, right before the Olympics. He got out once. <laughs> like once. an inmate. You know, I caught me <laughs> once. I was watching my blood drip and get my transfusion and... USA teams in town had him unhook me, and uh, I said so I was going for a walk. You know, walked in the Toyota Center, they gave me a standing ovation, put me on the board up above, and then Coach K asked me to speak to the team, and I did that, and then the next day it was all over the internet. So he escaped from the hospital. It goes completely against his doctor's orders. He strictly just disobeyed them and went and talked to the USA men's basketball team. And then today at his funeral, they were saying this is just the type of person that Sager was. He was somebody who lived without consequences. And he did live here at MD Anderson for two years trying to battle cancer. He gave it a huge fight and even endured three transplant at his trans transplants at his funeral. They said that he lived 18 months longer than he was expected to reporting live in the medical center. I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.